All right, hey everybody, how's it going? Um, just a quick video here on this uh, Menards uh, Saga shit. Um, first of all, I want to hope everybody's having a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. We finally got some sunshine here and the heat, of course, but uh, kick off to the summer, I suppose. But um, anyways, back to the air conditioner deal. We um, took it back after some phone conversations because I didn't want to drive... Maybe I should have just, maybe should just went up there and just threw an absolute fit. That's what I should have done. I think next time something like that happens, that's what's going to happen. You know, we'll get carted off to jail or we'll get kicked out of the store. So be it. But these um, fucking managers of these places and these owner or these head honchos, that um, guy that I had talked to, the the head honcho at Menards. He wouldn't even return my call. I left like two or three messages with him, and he wouldn't he wouldn't return my call. The um, so I called the guy at the store, and I ended up talking to a uh, um, mid manager, some smart ass son of a bitch, and um, he. Um, I thought at first he was going to be more more than helping on this because he's you know he says well I'm trying to work with you here and this and that and it's like okay I appreciate it and and uh, gave him the information off the uh, air conditioner. Went through with that, and he called me back later in the day and said best we can do for you, being how we don't carry that model no more, or they don't make it or something like that. And uh, he says uh, best we can do for you is $220 store credit. I said, this is over a $300 air conditioner. Well, if you had the receipt, it'd be a whole different story, he says. And I'm biting my fucking tongue. I'm thinking, well, you know, it's going to be really hard to eat this thing. So what do we do, you know? And uh, I told my wife the next day we went up, took it back, and uh, or we took it back two days afterwards because we got a monster rain that next day, and um, um, they weren't expecting us. And um, went back in there, and or she had to take it in there because my tooth's so fucking bad that I have to have milk on it almost constantly to keep it from aching so keep it from burning. I don't know how the hell they explain a burning tooth, but it's the way it feels. Anyways, um, she had taken in there, talked to the, was talking to the, the, um, where you take your items back, and, um, I mean, I was sitting right outside the door in the car waiting for him. You know, I figured it was going to be about a 10 minute ordeal instead of a fucking hour ordeal, and, um, she had, uh, talk to the service people and they were going to exchange it and then hit the guy that I talked to come down there and says no 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 he says we're going to only give you 200 and she was pissed I mean she's one person my wife you don't try to pull anything over on her she's going to let you know about it you know and um, she's just that way which is the way you got to be in today's society you know and um, they weren't budging you know it was a Either you're going to do it or you're going to take the old one back home type situation. And um, so anyway, that's part of the reason why I'm making this video to um, um, keep your fucking receipts if you buy something. You know, make a copy of them and put it away or whatever, you know. It's kind of bullshit the way he acted towards her because, you know, he made it he made it into a personal thing. Well, I got so much of this at home and I got so much of that at home and I got all these receipts and... It ain't about you, man. It's about this fucking product that took a shit that we want to make it right. And needless to say, we got an air conditioner, another one, a different brand. It's some off-breed, of course, made in China. But the thing of it is, it weighs 120-some pounds. The old one weighed like... Um, 70 or 90, I think it was 86, I can't remember, 68 or 86, one of the two, and uh, this one, the other one was a 12,000 BTU, this one's a 12,600, and um, man, I tell you what guys, you put it on a 75, and it's just nice and comfor comfortable inside, and uh, the old one, you know, you had to have that sucker on like 65 to get a comfortable temperature, so anyways, it is what it is, um, we'll never do business back in that, uh, Four Dodge store again, so um, I didn't really want to mention the name, but you know, buyer beware. So, um, 
It's just kind of ironic that they would take the box back as proof of purchase, but yet you give them the number off the model, off the the same number that was on the boxes on the on the uh, air conditioner, and that wouldn't do you no good. I don't make no bit of sen not a bit of sense to me. I th you know why they probably require that? It's because they know most people ain't going to keep a big ass fucking box. You know. So, anyways, it is what it is, and uh, thanks all for watching. And um, you know, we had to shell out a hundred and. Um, like 110 more dollars on this air conditioner and uh which ain't right but what do you do you know you're damned if you damned if you do and damned if you don't or however the hell that saying goes so anyways thanks for watching like i said i hope you guys are having a good memorial day weekend and uh, uh for those of you that are still watching this video got better videos coming up when the rain goes away um Maybe tomorrow we can get over. We got two on more to pick up, and hopefully we can get those tomorrow if weather stays fit. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, take care.